Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about my five favorite Chrome extensions that I use when I'm developing. Just things that kind of make my life a little bit easier as a developer and that I find helpful. And I hope that they help with your workflow and as you continue to learn development. Hey guys, before we jump into today's video, while you're out there saving all that time with these awesome suggestions from these Chrome extensions I'm going to recommend, might you use some of that time to relax with a humble monthly bundle where you can get H1Z1 at, along with two crates in-game plus $100 of other games every month. And uh, you get H1Z1 today and you can see some of their past crates so you can see that you're really getting uh, you know, more than $12 worth of value easy. So uh, if you do that, you can support me in interesting, uh, little fun way and reward yourself in the process. All right, so all the links to all of these will be in the description below. So if you like any of them, you can always search for them or you can just click the link and go get it that way. So uh, the first one I want to talk about is JSON Formatter. This one I've been using for quite some time and I'm a big fan of. And one of the reasons for it is just the fact that uh, oftentimes when you're getting JSON in the URL, it comes unformatted. This way we can actually collapse it on each object, each array, and we see a very formatted, detailed amount of JSON. It's just something that is pretty basic, but it is just a nice tool. There's nothing extra you have to do other than install the application, and wham, bam, it works. Now, it's not going to work for everything because, you know, uh, as you move forward with with more complicated stuff you're gonna have to be working with web tokens and and things that you can't necessarily pass into a, a, a URL but this is one of my uh, favorite ones I've had for a while for working on personal projects where I'm not too worried about the authentication now there's also um, I'm not even sure how to say this but I think it's WAPA WAPAlizer and what it what it is is it essentially allows you to see hey what is running on this website I'm on? All you gotta do is click the little icon, it will tell you, and you're good to go. So like in this example here, they have a WordPress CMS blog, they have PHP, jQuery, Google Analytics, and something called Gravatar. So if you're ever on a website and you're just curious what it's running, how it's working, what frameworks it uses, what libraries it uses, this is a cool little one to kind of give you some insight into that and maybe uh, you can look more into things down the road. So the next, the next one is a little extension called Clear Cache. And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, which I was surprised, a lot of people didn't know this, but say you're developing, if you want to actually clear your cache in Chrome, you can just hold uh, your left click over the re refresh, just click and hold, and it'll give you the option here to do a normal load, hard to reload, or empty cache and hard to re reload. But you also have, whoops. What happened to the Chrome extension? But you also have this uh, clear cache extension that will uh, you don't see it on here because I just installed this one. This is one I wasn't too familiar with, but I'm pretty excited to try out actually where you can just have a button there that will clear the cache for you and you can even set it to remove additional forms of data such as cookies and, and things of that nature so that you can really sort of clear your cache because I don't know how many times you guys have had caching issues as a developer, but it happens to me all the time uh and so it is my first go-to when something doesn't load that should load right <laughs> uh clear cache so uh the other one is form filler uh this is a great one I, I really like this and what it basically does is uh oftentimes as you're building your millionth crud application uh for those of you who aren't familiar with crud what that basically means is create read uh, update delete uh sort of your uh, post put delete and get calls your crud calls or as I like to call it when I want to get fancy Dirk uh, delete update read create because you can only make so many crud apps but uh you know so uh, as you're building these crud apps what you'll find happening is that when you're inputting data you're manually inputting data so instead of that all you need to do is hit uh, form filler for the longest time I thought this was form filler uh, and I thought that was way more gangster, but anyhow, that's a side note. But form filler, and what it basically does is it will just populate it with random data. This works for drop downs and input boxes, text areas, and essentially takes your lorem epson uh, stuff and puts it in there for when you're just testing an application 
and you don't care what's going in it and it just saves a ton of time um, this next one some of you may disagree about this but um, it's the light shot tool they also have a desktop application what this basically allows you to do is to with just hitting the print key to take a screenshot of your window and then actually put some text on it. I use this a lot when I'm just stuck on one thing. I need someone to see a snippet of code or I want to showcase where I'm at. Why did that work? I want to showcase where I'm at so that people can see how this works and what it does. And you can see here like, okay, cool. And then I want to search, you know, say, oh, look, this code right here. This is where I'm stuck. And, um, you know, if I wanted to add some text, I could and say, what the fuck? Why doesn't it work? Question mark. And then I could save it and then I can send it to the person. And uh, it's just a, a good tool that I've used pretty, pretty much every day, I feel like, um, for various things as I've, you know, continued to better my skill set and continue to be a, a developer. Now there's there's other tools that are more specific. Um, I really was only going to do um, five of these, but there are um, like uh, the React developer tools if you're a React developer, and they have uh, Angular developer tools. I'm forgetting the name of it. Um, I have it on my my uh, my work computer. But there's also the Redux developer tools, and the reason you need those a lot of times is your HTML, your template will change and you may not have all your resources uh, by default in a web in your web page because of how your code has changed and so you have these developer tools that help that there's also uh, on a side note I don't adv advise using this one anymore even though I use it um, but I have this allow control uh, basically if you've ever had a cross origin request error uh, what this extension the Corsair does is it will insert into your header something that allows cross-origin requests and about 90% of the time it solves <laughs> that issue just when you're testing on things or in an environment that you're not too worried about but for the most part it is a, a bad practice to have um, but uh, these are some I hope anyhow I hope you found some of these uh, tools helpful another thing that people suggested in the uh, in the Facebook group when I asked them about this topic was that they have a video speed extension. I don't know which one, but they have a video speed extension so they can watch videos at a faster pace all the way up to like 3.5 times. But yeah, so there are other uh, extensions that will allow you to increase your video speed, although I don't really recommend it. I know some people really like to watch videos at two times the speed. I don't know. I... I I've tried doing this in the past. It's not, I'm not really a fan of it. But these are just my five. Everyone has their own opinion about what works best for them, and I encourage them to, to try it out. And if you guys have any extensions that you use that I left out that you think would be great assets, let me know because I'm always trying to do something that makes me do less work, right, and makes me a better developer <laughs> in the process. So uh, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I appreciate it. Don't forget to comment with your suggestions. Don't forget to like the video. Share the video if you found it helpful. And if you want to support me, you can on Patreon. And uh, I appreciate you all. I do these videos because I enjoy them. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching them. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, baby, what Chrome extension should we get? Happy extension! No more pets. <laughs> Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IOTs, hacks, do-it-yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi, they have some great how-to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out, and thanks for watching.